Hello. The fascia has been extensively overlooked in mainstream medicine over the last few decades, and its contribution to many areas of biomechanics and physiology have been underestimated. The means of measuring this tissue alongside Western anatomy's preferred method of investigation, dissection, it has made the fascia easy to overlook. After all, you can reasonably estimate the number of bones or muscles, but any attempt to count the number of fascia in the body will be futile. This is why understanding of such an important network has not been propagated in the mainstream. The fascia, as important of a role it plays, has been difficult to measure through medicine's conventional means, although tissue imaging and other advanced assessment technologies have allowed for increased acuity in our understanding of the fascia. High resolution ultrasound being an example of this. The term fascia describes the soft tissue component of the connective tissue system that permeates the human body. One could also describe them as fibrous, collagenous tissues that are part of a body-wide tensional force transmission system. Tensional force transmission system. Ever wonder why Nao Yenue looks so light on his feet? Where Nao Yenue's monstrous power comes from despite being a light flyweight, a super flyweight, and a bantamweight fighter. He clearly is in throwing heavyweight status at his opponents. When it comes to his power, his advantage is not sheer mass, it's acceleration. When Naya commits to a strike, the punch connects like lightning, getting a grasp of the form he uses. It often requires slow motion because in truth, he's just that fast. Speed is a secret, but what is the secret to his speed? He knows how to effectively use the body's elasticity, the tensional force transmission system that is his fascia. His shots seem so tight, but taking a closer glance, there is always recoil, accelerating his power, and to take it even further, he often gives up defensive responsibility, lowering his hands, not returning his fist to his chin after throwing a punch, all in order to maximize his acceleration, which in turn, maximizes his power. He trusts his cat-like reflexes and mental composure to adjust to whatever happens in the moment with a tight execution of his body's elasticity. That is why his movements look so effortless, unforced and nimble, which of course is paired with his high ring IQ and reaction time. That said, let's take a closer glance at a few of the techniques he's using. Let's first start with his stance. Naya reduces the strikeable surface area of his body by standing partially sideways with his lead foot slightly pointed in and his back leg pointed out. This means he gains greater in and out footwork opposed to lateral, but also more power when he pivots his back leg into the strike as there is more body weight rotated into the punch than stepping alone would accomplish. Using his fashion pivot, he generates so much force that it can blast his opponents through high guard. Standing more sideways often means less power generated from the lead hand, but also, this world operates in the milliseconds. You would assume that with all this wind-up, any telegraph movement at all would eventually get keyed onto, thus timed. Nawia has an intelligent way of compensating for both of these things. Watch how Nawia throws out his jab. He throws his back arm out as a counterbalance. This feints the load up of his fascia, which allows him to read his opponent's reaction, but also the counterbalance, which increases the yump or power of his jab. When he feels he has successfully conditioned you, that's when the load up of his backhand's fascia slingshots natural punch. Standing sideways typically also means the lead hook has a shorter and less comfortable range of motion, which translates into less power. But for Naoya, that does not seem to be an issue. What is he doing differently? Watch here how he gauges with his back hand, which helps him load up his lead hand. This is how he increases the lead hand's power. <laughs> Here, this is an instance of his check entering like lightning, rotating his hips into his opponent's face. After he loaded that kinetic energy into his fascia, the speed he generates from his elasticity in real time, you can barely see the mechanics of the punch. For real, it's like lightning. Here, it's light, but watch how he first pivots out, which 
loads him up, then off his fascia, he fires his lead hook. Clearly, his opponent saw it coming, he actually saw most of Naya's punches coming. But what if that was Naya's plan? Notice how, whenever Naya loads up, instantly, his opponent's out of respect, shell. He doesn't have a speed disadvantage. Like a slingshot, his punches due to their unorthodox technique are even faster than normal once they are fired, and so his opponents are often forced to shell, unable to feel a window to counter against. This shell is what opens up their body. When one defends high, he opens up low. The last thing these fighters want is that power crashing against dome. Now, yeah, understanding this, loads and fires into their body. <laughs> smashing floating ribs, the solar plexus, soft organ tissue like the liver, the bruising of the bladder, it doesn't take much to seize up one's whole body when clipped clean against the organs. It's not a matter of toughness at all. If you take significant damage to soft organ tissue like the liver for example, the brain sends a signal to the body to seize up. You don't have much choice when this happens. This here is beautiful. Watch how, when he lowered his arms to lower his center of gravity, then level changing, he brings his lead to a lower field of vision, then enters an angle, swapping to south paw using his new lead to flicker jab in. It completely caught his opponent off guard. In his new angle, watch how fast this uppercut is. Slowing it down, we realize it wasn't just an uppercut, it was a bolo uppercut, harnessing his elasticity. He missed, but following through, he shifts back into orthodox. At this close range, he loads up and delivers a powerful hook. Seeing this slow down, we know what we're witnessing is amazing. But he does it so quick that you can barely catch any of the details. Throwing out his arm as counterbalance for his pull, he evades it just by a hair. Watch how he lowers his arm before delivering his punch. As his hips rotate into the blow, the fascia in his bicep and torso accelerate the punch into his opponent. Untelegraphed punch. This one wasn't a faster strike, but more textbook to boxing fundamentals. But watch, as his opponent gets desperate against the ropes, he seeks exit. Ring general ship rushing for space. This is his next move indicated clearly. When Naya reads your next move, he times a more powerful punch off his fascia against it. You're starting to see a pattern here. Fight IQ, the ability to read, then adjust to his opponent paired with his reactions are what allow him to execute this style. Here, he knows he's hurt. Look at how he's breaking another boxing fundamental, chicken winging his arm. Now he unloads until the bout is stopped. This is beautiful. Notice his foot position, then as he jabs, he throws his arm back and then turns his lead foot in which increases the range and power of the punch. His opponent's vision is momentarily muffled thus diverted from the load up. He's rocked and in a concussed daze. Samar Clint tries to find his answer but only ends up opening his liver for this. Look at how far back Naya threw his arm before he finished rotating the blow into his opponent. This had deep penetration behind it. Samar Clan, in his days, his hands are lowered. Watch how he closes his eyes before this wound up hook even connects. Mentally, this fight might already be over. You have to give it to the man though, for standing back up. The ties are as mentally strong as people come. But now, he's just shelling, trying to force his way into a fight. Unfortunately though, it's not enough. Defending high, he has opened himself low. Liver, his body, seizes up from the blow. There are physics to this reality, a chemical response released telling you to stop. But look, he still chooses to rise, then fight. The ref did a great job stopping this bout. Mentally, a man like this isn't willing to give up until his final breath. Nonetheless, you have to respect this man's heart, his indomitable will against the odds. Truly, he did the ties proud. 
The force he generates accelerating his punch, he pierces through high guard similarly to how Deontay Wilder often does. Again, stepping in, watch how his opponent has his guard raised. This punch gets blocked on guard, but he literally blasts him onto the ropes, then on the ground. That's something we'd see Aaron Mike Tyson do more often. This level of power is rare for this division. Standing back up, he times Nayan, catches him on the chin with a tighter shot. Unfortunately though, it wasn't enough to stifle the incoming blow and only work to open up his guard. In came that same power, but this time with nothing to buffer it. Sometimes all it comes down to is now you're realizing that even if you catch him first, because his reactions weren't enough, if you can't hurt him with textbook technique, you'll regret playing shot for shot to the face versus unorthodox power. Controlling his opponent against the ropes, cutting him off, when his opponent opens up with a jab, now he sees the second one, then slip his follow-up, both uppercut and hook missed, but he's not framing off his opponent. He steps out. Watch how he eats a rabbit punch behind head. But what is the trade? Watch how far back his lead hand is. What do you think will happen when he rotates his hips into this? What do you think will happen to his opponent's head? Watch. The lead leg straightens as he's launched upright from the shock. This game is one where you seek to hit and not get hit, but straight up. It appears Naoya is willing to get hit in exchange for hitting you way harder. His opponent now respects his load up. They see it a mile away. Thus their intuitive response is to shell, not wanting to take the following blow against Dome. When you defend high, you are open low. Wincing in pain, he has to take a moment as his body seizes up from the blow. He may have recovered, but Naya saw his reaction clearly. He begins targeting that opening. Here. The majority of his opponent's punch was absorbed against shoulder. Naya is really good at rolling shots off his shoulder, using it defensively. His opponent realizes another haymaker is coming, and so he ducks and shells, avoiding the follow-up. Instantly, Naya's high IQ Q's on. He touches the high guard to keep his opponent shelled, then watch how he shuffles his feet. He did this primarily to position his feet so that they may once again rotate power into his lead. Watch how Naoya takes advantage of the opening, rotating his lead foot, which rotates his hips all the while, slinging his arm back. Loading his fashion, turning all of that kinetic energy into a single unguarded point, his opponent has no choice but to take a knee. Now his opponent, breaking composure over and over, he knows all he has to do is continue focusing that area. The moment it lands precisely, the opponent's body has no choice but to give in to its physics. ESPN ranks Naoya Inoue number 4 in the pound for pound rankings. His high level of skill is obvious, but ironically his technique is one that would rarely ever be taught at a boxing gym. It's as if, intuitively, as a fear response, you brandish powerful haymakers due to your lack of experience. As you learn, you develop tighter and less telegraphed form. But in this case, with IQ and reaction time, Naoya has come back full circle, harnessing that power all over again. He secured a place at the top, doing so. That's it. Who's to say what the right answer is when every person at the top is so stylistically different from the next? As humans, all we can really do is try to listen, experiment, mess up, but most importantly, learn, hoping you can find something that is authentically your own. Build upon what is yours and peeling back what is not, hoping you can make the most of your human condition. That has always been the formula for greatness. Developing the self-awareness to maximize your unique individual condition. Understanding this, let this inspire you to not be like Naoya, but instead, 
more like yourself. Because in truth, you are enough. You just have to figure out how. Please share this segment as the mainstream's understanding of how important our fascia is, is still limited. I'll leave my sources down below in the description. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you if you did. It really does help the channel. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.